This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're going to show you how to create a check register report in QuickBooks. Sounds simple, right? But do you want just a check register report or one that looks nice, that makes you want to read it, that makes you want to spend a minute seeing what's in there? Stay tuned, I'll show you what I mean. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Okay, so this screencast comes from a question that somebody emailed me, somebody named Rhonda, with a question about the best way to create a QuickBooks check register. As many of you know, you can print one from the register, but as Rhonda comments, did you see it? Yuck! Looks terrible. And I can. I can, um, I can print one right from this register. I can go print. And first of all, I don't like the idea of just printing necessarily. But let's just say I was doing this. I could do it to a PDF. I always like to do these kinds of things in Excel. First of all, to save paper. And second of all, because this way I can play around and format them and make them look better. But let me just show you what you get. And you could, of course, do it this way. And if you saw my recent post on how to um, print a transaction history, then you got a taste of this also. I could print it to a file here and do it to a comma delimited. And that would open up in Excel and I could format it. Or if I print it to a printer, I'm using my cute PDF writer. Let's see what this looks like on a PDF. It's printing all eight pages, then it's going to want me to save it. So I'll save it. Where am I going to save it? It's always the problem. Sample check register, and I'm, you can't see it, but that's where I am. And we'll save that. And then I'll open it so you can see it. And I think you're going to agree it looks terrible. One of the things I stress is when I'm running reports, especially if I'm doing it for someone else, is I want to run reports that look pretty. Why? Because I want somebody to want to look at the report that I'm running for them. And this just kind of looks ugly. I don't want to look at this. Not to mention that once I scroll down in a PDF, I can't see my headers anymore, so I have no idea what I'm looking at by the time I get down here. I go to the next page and see it again. But still, this just doesn't look pretty. I want the opportunity to be able to format these kind of things. So, let me show you how I prefer to do it. I think the best way to do it, actually, because a lot of times I want to run this at a certain cutoff point, right? I just want to see all the transactions in a bank account for this month, let's say. And I want that uh, balance, though, to be accurate. And what I've noticed is if I do a custom transaction detail report, yeah, let's go to reports transaction. Interestingly enough, I guess in 2012 they've made some uh, changes here in terms of how this works. Because you know, here, custom reports, that's what I'm looking for, transaction detail. So, if I want to do this month to date and I can filter it for a certain bank account, let's just say I go to the checking account here. Here's the problem with this. It starts me off in my balance with the balance just based on the first transaction in this list. This isn't the balance in the bank account as of this day because it's leaving out all the activity from prior to this. If I back this up to November 1 and refresh it, See what happens? There's other activity. And coincidentally, there's a check for the same amount at the beginning of this month. Probably write the same check every month. But the point being that I don't, this balance isn't accurate. It's not the running cumulative balance that I really want to see when I run a check register report. So the way that I've learned how to do it that works best is to start with the balance sheet. When you run the balance sheet, you can double click the checking account that you want to do this for. And then notice I get the leading balance, the balance forward, right? It starts me off here. And this way, if I just do it for 12 1 of 2016, which is the sample company file date, see there's that first check for $800, but my balance doesn't show negative 800. It shows the right cumulative balance. So this is how I run it. Then, of course, we can take this into Excel 
and we can format it even more to make it more better. And actually what I suggest before you even do that is go to customize the report and let's give the report a meaningful name. Usually over here you're going to have the name of the banking account because I would never actually name a bank account checking. If you've been in any of my webinars on QuickBooks or watched a few of my videos, I always name it after the financial institution and usually append that name with the last four digits of the account number so I know exactly which account I'm talking about. But let's just leave it like that for now. For today's purposes, what I would do is at least copy that account's title here into the report title under header footer. That way it's very clear what I'm looking at. And then you can memorize this report so that going forward you don't have to go to the balance sheet and double click it. You have this report always here and you can always you can just change this to one of the standards like this month to date so that it always runs the current month and then you can always change the dates once you run it so then we can export this to Excel create a new worksheet and we can format it to make it look even prettier so let's just give this a second and then I'll just give you some ideas about how I might format this and if you've been in my live webinar especially if you're in the cash flow webinar recently then you've already seen kind of how I do this. So uh, one thing for sure that I would do is I would kill this right away and say let's get rid of it because I forgot to change some of the options here and I have to do that now by going to advanced this is QuickBooks 2012 the new way I like to keep my fonts, but most importantly, I want the report header on the printed report and the screen. I want it. I want that report header to show up on the screen, so I know what I'm looking at. I don't care about the grid lines. In fact, I hate them, so I'm getting rid of that. And now I will click OK and click Export. And now I can start having some fun. So the first thing I might do is highlight this whole entire report and just give it a very light gray shading. Then I really, I, I have the account name up here, so I really don't need this to tell me what I'm looking at, but I do want to make it clear that this, this it's got a balance forward in here. So what I might do is change this to balance forward. And then, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do, and this is entirely up to you in terms of how you like to see it, but I'll show you what I would do. Control the number one gets me my format cells dialog here. That's how I did that. I go to my fill tab, fill effects, use the multicolor format, just looks pretty. And let's get this going with a dark green and a black. Just kind of looks cool. And then the font, I'll make bold. This is for the totals. This is how I do a total. And we need the font color to be white so it shows up nicely on that background. See that? And then I can use my format painter. And, and what it does here is it's giving me a total for the account and a grand total for the report. So I really don't need both. I can get rid of that second line. Here's my total. But at least, and here I have my nice cumulative balance. The only other thing I might do just very quickly for today's purpose is I might take the section here that's got all my data. And let's just make that white so it just kind of stands out as here you know so you're kind of distinguishing the sort of outline pieces versus you know the the data itself and then I'm gonna change the way the panes are frozen so that it looks nice and clean nice and clean that's the main thing you also may wanna you know change the formatting on these so that the title really stands out cell uh, styles title maybe so it sticks out so these are just some things you can do really quickly to make it look pretty. And you can go crazy with the formatting. I just want to give you some ideas to get us started. The other thing I do, if you want to get rid of these print format lines, first of all, uh, you probably want to change this to landscape anyway, because even if you do plan to print it, uh, you don't want to print this report in a portrait format. It's going to have to be squeezed down quite a bit. And then the other thing you can do is right up here, set this to one page wide so that you know it'll fit onto one page when you print it. It might get real small, so you probably have to play around with this, maybe get rid of a column you don't want, something like that. But that's it, my friends. This is how I, I create a check register report that I think looks nice, that I think at least when I present this to my client, they might look at this and they won't be so overwhelmed with all this sort of, it's like somebody threw the oatmeal on the floor and said, here, go look at that. 
you know, the way it originally prints out. But when you format it nice, they can look at this and say, okay, this is clear. You know, I see my checks are coming out here on the uh, debit side, right? My deposits are coming out here. Or, I'm sorry, checks are, are coming out on the credit side. Deposits are coming out on the debit side. You may have to explain that to a client. Debits and credits work differently than what they're trained to think by the banks. In accounting, a debit increases a bank account. And that, my friends, is basically what I've got for you on how to create a check register report in QuickBooks. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Please, if, especially if you found this helpful, help me out by posting your comments. If you've got questions, post them. If you've got ideas or suggestions for another screencast, just hop on over to my Facebook page and let me know what those are. I look forward to seeing you on the web. This has been a special presentation brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated on how to create a check register report in QuickBooks. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards.